Throughout history, man has had a fascination with flight. Air shows offer us a vision of aviation. Westfield, Massachusetts. It was here we had the opportunity to experience up close some very special aircraft. Aircraft we had come to know through the evening news. Planes that families and friends watched with anticipation, with feelings of fear and hope. The aircraft of Operation Desert Storm. August 1991. For two days, man and machine would showcase their wares and abilities an event that was a celebration of freedom. Municipal Airport, the site of the Westfield International Air Show. For 100 members of the 104th Tactical Fighter Group, this marked the culmination of their efforts for the past year. The home of the A-10 Thunderbolt hosted the event, which featured 92 planes from around the world. For two picture-perfect days, we watched as the F-15 Eagle took to the skies along with the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the B-1B Bomber, and the F-14 Tomcat. I'm Major Gary Hager, uh, the air show director and uh, the lead for the A-10 demo team here at Barnes. The reason why we have this air show is to uh, is for community relations and uh, let the people know where their tax dollars are going. It uh, gives them a chance to come out and see just, just what they're buying for, uh, for their buck. And uh, we're proud to be part of Westfield. That's part of our mission here is to be uh, a community member. It's not just uh, a federal job or a state job we have, it's a community job. And uh, we're proud that Westfield lets us be part of that community. The United States Army Golden Knights performed precision parachute jumping. And more thrills were provided by the world famous Air Force Thunderbirds. Vintage aircraft included the Yak-11 and the MiG-17. Today's technology was highlighted by an appearance of the mysterious stealth fighter. Virtually every U.S. aircraft used in Operation Desert Storm was represented, either in flight or on static display. It was here on the ground that we had the occasion to meet the people behind the planes. And it is through their own words that we learned more about the machines that are the defenders of freedom. 